Hello, and welcome to our AirHub Portal training series. Today I'm going to do a deep dive on all the features and functions within AirHub Portal. Before we begin, let's go ahead and familiarize ourselves with the layout and navigation of the application. On the far left hand side, you'll notice the primary navigation bar and the vertical orientation, and within it, it has four main tabs. We're currently situated on the Home tab, which is indicated by the solid blue bar on the left hand side but we also have the Discover, Plan, and Manage tabs. Within each one of these three tabs following the Home tab contain the majority of the functionality and tools of AirHub Portal. At the top, we have our secondary navigation bar, which contain things like global search, guides and resources, ability to log in and out, and the ability to create events. But we'll get into this more later. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to the Discover tab. The purpose of the Discover tab is mainly there to start to get familiar and understand, understand what's going on in your airspace and your local community. So the main tool within the Discover tab is what we refer to as the airspace tool. And it's to inform users about the area they intend to operate their drone in. This tool aggregates over 50 different data sources to display a list of advisories based on the location you intend to operate in. The pilot awareness of these advisories, both air and ground based, are essential for conducting safe operations in the national airspace. So let's go ahead and dive into how to use this tool by actually searching and planning in an area of the country that's always sunny and optimal for drone flying. And that's for me, San Diego. So there's two ways to actually go into and zoom into San Diego. The first way can be used with the mouse and, and the plus and minus buttons here to kind of zoom in and navigate, or we can leverage the global search at the top, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Start typing San Diego and you can see the first result is that. When you click on it uh, in the global search, or if you click on the map, if you did a more manual pan zoom, you'll notice an icon appears where that click uh, has occurred. When the icon appears, you'll notice our advisory panel open up here on the right. So the advisory panel contains a couple of things. Uh, most importantly are all these advisory cards within it, but high level on the far right, we have a summary of how many advisories are intersecting and nearby to that point click. We have the actual latitude longitude of that point click. We have the ability to minimize this and kind of leave it as a visual summary in terms of what's around the area. In this particular case, this is like a stoplight, uh, green, yellow, red, green indicating that, hey, you're good to go, nothing's going on. Yellow advises for a cautionary, and red is um, typically a hard stop and something pro most likely you don't wanna fly in that area. Finally, the button below that will clear the advisory card, card uh, and also clear the, the, the icon from the map. So I'm gonna do it here just as a demonstration. You can see it cleared out but I'm gonna go ahead and, and drop the point again to get it back. Okay, so by default, the intersecting advisory tab is what, what's opened. You can see these can be opened and closed at your leisure. Um, intersecting being the most important one here because it's obviously exactly where your point drop is. So if I were to open the first advisory card and actually click on it, you can see it highlights the particular uh, card. In this particular case, it's, it's part of the area of the Class Bravo around San Diego, San Diego International Airport. Uh, you can see in order to fly in this area, you need to have Lance, um, and we have a real quick fast button to get you to Lance uh, here, which you can click. We're gonna do that here in a, in a little bit. Um, in addition, it's advising you that you're in a zero foot flight ceiling and we're also near, I'll click it so you can see that particular grid. We're also near Petco Park, uh, which happens to be the baseball diamond here. So um, if I were to click that, you get the kind of overview of the, the rules of uh, operating near stadiums. And one of the nice features that's very, very unique to AirHub Portal is that we leverage a lot of third-party data sources to help advise our operators when uh, an event is in, in, in effect or when one's up and coming. So you can see here we have 17 scheduled for this park in the coming months. Uh, the most recent one is going to be March 25th, and it looks like a, a baseball game. So if I click on the nearby advisories, you'll notice that there's a whole lot more of them, but you can probably also gather that from just looking at the map. San Diego is a very busy place, a lot of military operating areas. And you can see these are advisories that are within a two nautical mile radius of your point drop. 
they're also in order of distance from that point drop. So starting with what's closest, you can see we also have other San Diego airspace restriction areas. Um, and then we start getting into some of the military operating areas, potentially helipads, etc. And you can interact with, with all of this as well. So, okay, so that's the advisory tab. This collectively represents a feature that the AirHub portal is certified to, to provide users for free, known as before you fly. Um, so that's a process that we at Airspace Link go through to ensure our systems are certified and stamped of approval by the FAA uh, to be a before you fly a partner. So everything I just highlighted to you in these advisory cards and the ability to interact with the map is all considered before you fly uh, functionality and resources. In addition to the uh, before you fly functionality and uh, set, uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear the advisory cards out. Um, if you were to zoom in, you can kind of see a lot of the map symbology start to appear uh, at various zoom levels. Um, the best way to figure out what actually all these things are is leveraging our layers tab. So if I open up the layers tab, you can see we have everything from airspace to recreational obstructions, infrastructure, and a whole lot of ground-based geospatial data sets. This is where I was lever uh, mentioning earlier the 50 different data sources. So we have everything from obstacles here, and you can see these are uh, above AGL in feet, so you can see how high they are. Those are. These are actually coming from the FAA, but we also have FCC databases, we have power lines, we have other stadium event parking, military areas, etc. So a lot of good stuff here. The yellow hexagons actually indicate population density. So that's something we kind of took from the legacy FAA VFR sectional charts in terms of showing you where there's high areas of of population just to help better inform our operators and users of where uh, ops over people may have a light, higher likelihood of, of occurring. At the top of the map styles and layers, you'll notice um, the actual base map switcher. So the default in AirHub portal is dark. I can switch to light, and this is a lot of times very useful when outdoor and the sun glare on your cell phone. Um, we also have satellite view, which is, you know, the satellite imagery. And then we have our street map view, which, uh, you know, this mostly looks like what you would imagine Google, Google Maps to, to show. But then finally, we have our VFR sectional chart, so another unique offering within AirHub portal. You'll notice that when I click on it, though, depending on your zoom level, you may not see it right away. And that's because these charts are designed to be viewed uh, slightly further out. Um, they're not meant to have that nitty gritty resolution that our, our maps have um, because the VFR sectional charts mostly man, meant for crewed aviation and, you know, flying at higher altitudes, etc. cetera. So um, don't be alarmed if you don't see it right away. Just zoom out to the proper level and note that if you zoom too far out, um, they will also disappear. So there's a little bit of a Goldilocks sweet spot for um, the zoom level and, and how you want to go about using those charts. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to dark mode um, and get ready to line us up for actually creating an operation within AirHub portal. So if let's look for an uncongested area. It looks like the northwest has some, some clear space. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. And let's go ahead and create a mission, uh, or an operation rather, in the Mission Beach Park area. But we're going to save how to create an operation for our next video in our training series. So join us in our next video where we do a little bit of a deep dive on Lance and show you how to create an operation within AirHub Portal. Thank you, and please reach out if you have any questions.